Today we're going to be talking about how to automate your socials posts with AI. Now this is actually a very, very useful tactic and I've been playing this out for the last couple of months. I had this idea around Christmas when ChatGPT and AI started really blowing up and I was like, I wonder if I can automate this sort of stuff with Zapier. Now for those of you who don't know Zapier, which is Z-A-P-I-E-R, is a webhook connection software. What it essentially does is links into other APIs and creates a nice and easy way to create a fully automated task. It's very similar to Power Automate if you've ever used that or another one called IFTTT, which is if this, then that. Zapier is a really good one. I use the paid version. I can't remember how much it is exactly, but I think it's like eight to 10 US dollars per month. The reason I do that is because I have it automating a lot of tasks for me throughout the day of everyday life. Now, what I want you to do for today's job is to automate as much of your social posts as possible. The example I'm bringing up on the screen here is a fully automated post and content that is actually written here by OpenAI's ChatGPT as well as the Dully2 AI modules that OpenAI has. I don't have a paid OpenAI account. I'm using the free version. However, I do use a paid Zapier account. For this example, we do need to have a paid Zapier account to be able to utilize the Zapier webhooks. Now, as you can see up on the screen here, what we're doing is using Zapier to automate a daily task to generate content of a picture as well as the content that's actually written in the post. Now, I want this to work across multiple platforms. So I'm going to go with the smallest limitation, which is a tweet. You don't have too many characters that you can put into a tweet and I don't want it to write too much. Otherwise the tweet looks too generated and a little bit too AI driven. And we don't want it to come across as something that's like super AI. We want it to come across as genuine as possible to create a following around your accounts. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a prompt that asks for, as an example, you could have it like, what is the day-to-day -day life of an ethical hacker? Now the prompt you would write is something similar to that, but at the start, make it say, write a tweet. The reason we're saying write a tweet is because that is the smallest amount of text that it will give you back. Once it's generated that you know generic content with a couple of hashtags, later on we're going to put into the list here that it actually includes your website in the post. Now this is the call to action as part of the tweet and this is what people will actually click on when they read through your tweet. They'll see cybersecurity, they'll probably skip through the rest of the content. They might comment on your post, which is great. But if they do anything, it's usually to actually click on the like button or to click on the link in the tweet itself. Now, this is something that I share then across Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. With the Instagram account, I have it linked automatically to Facebook like I told you to do in a previous video. So you don't have to post to Facebook as well. It'll Once it posts to Instagram, it posts to Facebook automatically. But the Twitter post and the LinkedIn post do need to be separate posts that it will do together as well. So as we can see in this example, I have Instagram, I have Twitter and I have LinkedIn all connected to my Zapier accounts. This is going to be the output section of this Zap or automation, whatever you want to call it. It's the action. The trigger of this automation is to trigger every single day at a certain time. Now, yes, that's going to look very generic if you don't post anything else in between these posts. And I highly, highly recommend you do. The way I like to do it is myself to have a post every single day and to write at least two posts yourself each and every day throughout the day. That way it looks a little bit more like a genuine account and not just a fully bot driven AI content account, which is, it's, I mean, it's nice and neat to look at, but it's not good content wise. People will realize that pattern. People are very good at creating patterns and understanding patterns as well. So you don't want to have it look too clean and you know structured like that because that's not what the real world of content creation is. It's usually, it's, it's a messy, I guess, output of people's thoughts. And that's how it should be. But for this AI driven stuff, we're just creating content for people to click on essentially. It also helps with things like backlinks to your website, but we'll talk about that in another video. Now, once you have your ChatGPT prompting to generate some content, we then do another ChatGPT action, which is to prompt it to generate an image. Now I use the ChatGPT playground for this to find a good image structure that I generate a couple of times to make sure it's on point most times. For this example, I've used a 
cyberpunk themed guy in a futuristic city as a illustration and i just want it like that so that it creates a, a sort of ai i guess like artistic sort of drawing of what cybersecurity could be imagined as. I didn't want it to be too like hacker themed because I find if you, you do that in the prompt, it brings up some really like rubbish posts or it sometimes get a little bit too political. So it's, it's kind of tricky to get the right kind of prompt. So play around in the playground of Dali 2 to generate some good images and one structure that you're actually happy with that when it posts it, it actually looks good and professional. Now all you need to do is fill in the blanks in Zapier of all of your output actions, which is to post to the various social medias and to have it test run each and every one of those steps to make sure that you're doing it correctly. You can always delete the tweet, the post, wherever it is that your automation is creating these posts on. But yeah, like I said, once it's actually running this every single day, please make sure to actually put some content of your own in between because that's what's actually going to create the most amount of uh, traction on your social media accounts as opposed to AI. AI driven content is good and it is very helpful to sort of fill in the blanks and keep your brand in front of people. But really the advertisement that you want to do is going to be coming from you directly. This is just to get your name in front of people's eyes so that they recognize your name, your brand as much as possible. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any recommendations or comments that you would like to leave, please do drop them below and I will answer them as best I can. If you are enjoying this series, please do share this playlist around. I'm working very hard to keep these daily videos going and I do appreciate all the comments and support I have been getting. So thank you very much for that. It really does uh, make me feel better and I don't know if it's helping the algorithm at all. My, my account seems to be continuously tanking over the last couple of months, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm having fun making these videos and putting them out and sort of having this um, everyday business structure thing going because it is such a fun topic to cover and it's created so much conversation around people who are so interested that I never knew so many people were so excited about getting into starting their own freelancing business. So this is really a, a great opportunity for me to learn from you guys about what, you know, what interests you and what areas are you going to be diving into when you're creating your own freelancing business in IT. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you on tomorrow's video.